Um, there was a long time um, of no tournaments in between Doha and our next tournament, which, which will be in Guadalajara. Um, so we thought it would be good to still train with some really good teams. And um, as the Netherlands is pretty close and we also like to train with Katja and Raisa, we decided to come here for a few days. If you have a longer time without tournaments, it's always cool to have practices with high level teams and they definitely are. So yeah, we enjoy it. It was only two practices so far, but then um, we have three more and I think it's yeah very good for us. About 2018, it was for sure a really special tournament with a lot of ups and downs. And it was, I would say at the beginning of our yeah partnership. I mean, mm -hmm. now we're together for nine years, so 2018 was still the beginning. And we also learned a lot of things about ourselves in this tournament and about our team. And um, I think we also had some tough moments in this tournament, close matches. It was a really good step for us in, or an important step for us, I would say, in our development as a team. But of course, I also remembered the disappointment after losing the final. But I also remember so good celebration afterwards. So I think it was a really special moment for our team. I don't remember that much from the crowd, I think for sure. When I think about it now, I'm like, well, they won in their own country. But I think in this moment, I, I didn't realize how big it is. Maybe also because it was in the beginning of our career and I was younger and I was not thinking that much <laughs> or I don't know. Um, but that must have been a really cool moment for them. And we also liked them. So I think it was really cool for them. And yeah, also for us, I mean, to play somewhere where are a lot of fans and the atmosphere is good, is always cool. Doesn't matter if they are cheering more for you or not. It's, I think it was a cool experience for us. Sure. Should we, I think we started in Utrecht, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Utrecht it was and so I remember, cool. Yeah, yeah, I remember. We really that loved that it was, city. It was great there. Yeah. It was so fun, this court there and the people. Yeah, that was cool. Last year, I would say it was just very special if you win it again. I mean, if you win it once, of course, it's really cool and you have it and nobody will ever take it away from you. But if you win it twice, I think it's even more special because to win it twice, I think it's difficult to do, I would say, because also the level in Europe is really high. And if you want to win it once, it's difficult, but to win it twice, it's, I think it's even more special. We heard the tournament will <laughs> happen at the beach, so I'm not sure. No, I mean, it will be our goal. I think whenever you won last year, you, you're not going there saying, oh, let's Let's see, maybe quarterfinals or something like this. But as Tanya said, we have a lot of good teams here. I think the level in general is really close. And yeah, you, you have to do something great to win matches and even more to win a tournament. So we know that, but um, we're looking forward to it. I've played, I think I've played two times on, on the beach in The Hague. And I mean, sometimes it's nice, sometimes <laughs> it's... Not so nice. <laughs> I mean, it's still nice, but it's windy and it's for sure more challenging. But I mean, in our sport, the good thing is always both teams have the same conditions. So it's not that one team has an advantage then, yeah, because both play on the same place, at the same place, on the same time. So yeah, I think playing on the beach is always special, but I, I've already played in different uh, cities. I also played in Amsterdam at the World Champs. So I really think that um, they're doing a great job setting up cool center courts in the middle of the cities. And I, I really think this is going to be really cool. And we, we're looking forward to play in the Netherlands. <laughs>